people all right everyone i have made it to a jolly bee i didn't even know they had one of these in our state i watch people like mark wings and some other folks that uh travel and do food for a living and um jolly bee just seems the spot to be to if you ever get to the philippines singapore dubai all these places like that which are known for their chicken their spaghetti and some of their other filipino dishes so while I was in town, I grabbed me some real quickly, and this is just gonna be a short, off the record, something good Sunday at Jolly Bee. Alrighty, so as I said before, this is gonna be a quick something good Sunday, more so an honorable mention, something good Sunday, I should say, because this is a restaurant that you don't normally find here, and it is called Jolly Bee. This is something that normally you would find in most of Southeast Asia, the Philippines, Vietnam, all those places like that. I mean, it is a Filipino chain of fast food restaurants. So I definitely did not expect to see one here. Normally, I do see a lot of food bloggers who go to Southeast Asia and they stop at a Jollibee, but we had one right here in Houston and I was like, let's check it out. Alright, so as we get into the menu, one of the famous things on Jollibee's site is their Chicken Joy. You can see their Chicken Joy, which is pretty much their different sides of chicken uh, that KFC has. And then there is several other options. I mean, the next famous thing up that you hear about is their spaghetti, which I'll get into in a second. They have burgers. They do the regular steak burgers, how my granddad used to eat it. Whenever he said he wanted to get a burger, it was really just a ground patty with onions and stuff and they sell that there they also sell breakfast so Jolly Bees to me although is not like um, jack-in-the-box they sell a lot of variety of items here so that's one of the things of course they have their apple pies or mango pies I should say and their mango pies to me or did taste a lot better than McDonald's apple pies but that's to that's to be debatable so before we get into the food, real quickly, let's talk about today's sponsor, NutriChamps. Now, NutriChamps, they are on a goal to help people live a healthier and happier life. And I'm going to be honest, with all the different foods that we eat around here, it is 2024. It is time for you to regain your life, champion your life. Now, with the discount code down below, you can definitely get into any of the products that they have to serve for you. We've been taking these supplements for about a year now and it helps to just feel better and to get those food groups that you don't get in there so try it out right now NutriChamps link down in the description below Okay, so the food has arrived, and I just got a adobe adobo rice and two-piece spicy, huh? Along with some spaghetti that seems to be a signature dish for them. Looks like it got a little bit of hot dogs in it there. And my wife got a two-piece as well, regular with the adobo rice. Then it comes with some gravy, and I got a mango drink and a coconut pie. So pineapple coconut pie, and then of course I got some chicken over there to go to bring home to the boys so let's try out this jolly beef for the first time it looks good though now given how extensive this menu is i just did not know what to order so i asked the people up front what are your more common items that people come in and buy every day and this is what they got so we ended up getting the two-piece spicy adobo and a regular two-piece with spicy adobo rice and the spaghetti of course i wanted to try one of their um, apple pies as well and then get some chicken just to go and just for the record the spicy chicken is where to go the spicy chicken is spicy good god <clears throat> but it's good it's seasoned it's juicy it's not dry yeah it's good now the spaghetti on the other hand gave me more of a chef boy rd type feel i mean it had a little bit of cheese and the hot dogs in it it still kind of left the taste a little unimaginable even if it is their main item on their menu 
Now here you can see the difference between the spicy chicken and the regular chicken. And the spicy chicken looks more seasoned than the regular chicken. But you know, um, here is that peach coconut pie that I was speaking about, which man, if I, like I would trade McDonald's apple pie in any day for this thing. It is really good. So that was just a little something bite to eat that we had for this. And lastly, I just want to talk about pricing. I think they're a little expensive compared to like your churches or pie pies or KFC, but they are a well-known chain that is usually not found in the United States. So I guess you pay a little bit more, but honestly, don't go searching for it unless you know, you really just want to try a Jollibee. If you have one in the area, check them out. They are pretty good, but I wouldn't go out my way for it. And there you have it. That's Jollibee. See y'all on the next one.